Okay, Halo Reach has a new difficulty walkthrough, ArmageddonGaming.com. So now that these dropships are coming, two invisible guys are going to come. Uh, it's always different if they come. One might come from the left, one might come from the right. They most, they both might come from one side. Uh, just watch your radar. Uh, that's why we got the shotgun. We're going to be dropping it fairly soon. You're going to drop it. When you come over here where you killed that yellow elite, uh, we're gonna grab his gun, which is right here. Depending on where you kill him is where you'll find it. So this gun basically works. Aim at a dude, it'll lock on and hold the right trigger down until those four circles around the crosshair go up. Unless, of and course, you don't want to shoot four rounds. Yeah. So there, there's two hunters here. I have no more. Yeah, you're trying to shoot that guy with zero ammo. I know, isn't it great? Remember, kids, not to throw grenades at yourself. Yeah, also, you teabag those grenades. We tried anyway. Let's look at this guy over here. Trying to do something. The elites in this game are so fucking annoying. They are. They just like to run. Um, once you, All there is here is two elite, these two invisible elites and the two hunters. Wow. Enough out of that guy. Nice shot. Thank you. They're they're fairly easy to see, especially if you keep an eye on your mini map. Uh, just throw all your grenades at these guys. Definitely want to try to keep some sniper rifle ammo, which is why I'm not just unloading on that dude yet. Yeah, sniper rifle is one of the best weapons for hunters. That was sarcasm, wasn't it? Nope. Really? <laughs> One Shotguns snipe around it, it is, but you really can't but afford to get too to close. close. Yeah. Will make your day very. Matter of bad. fact, the beam rifle is probably the best weapon, but it's not in this game. Yeah. You gotta be good with the sniper rifle to be able to hit their orange parts, though. That's true, but that's why the one good thing your co op squad mates provide for you in this game is distractions. That is excellent. It's the only thing they do well. And I might, I, I guess I should point out, one hit from their green things, if they hit you, they actually hit you, is death. Like I said, Jun can't die, so don't worry about protecting him. I'm just trying to use whatever ammo I can aside from that. Just, you know, save some ammo. What for? The next part. Oh, there is a next part. I hate this fucking level. I'm pretty sure it was on this recording. If not, it was the next time I played this. But what Jun does is he goes to the right of this door and hits a number pad to open this door. And he just refused to do that for me. I don't know if it was right now or not. Nope, now he decided to do it. But I guess the time after this I played it, he refused to go over there. And eventually the gate just opened. But once you open the gate, come crouch behind here so that dropship can't hit you with its cannons. It's basically just going to drop a few grunts and jackals. I'm shooting at this, but it's completely useless. I was just bored, I guess. Aww. So just pick off a couple of dudes from back here. This, this little barricade makes great cover. And start picking these guys off. Now, uh, there's going to be a cannon right over this rock. There's so many cannons in this, this part. part is, this part is very annoying. So just kind of hide behind here, this rock right here. Lucky for you, you have a sniper rifle. I played this without it. Yeah, um, you can shoot the dudes out. I'm going to be doing that a lot. It, you just got to mostly wait for them to look at you and start shooting at you. That's the best time to do it. Just pop out, get a quick shot on their head, and pop back in. After like, two or three kills with it, sniper rifle ammo here, by the way. But after about two or three kills with it, or killing them, you'll get kind of the pattern down of where their head will be. And the grunts will pop back in. So watch out. 
Like, they'll replace each other if they see one of them die. The worst is when an elite jumps in there. Yeah, when elites jump in there, it's it's bad news. Very rarely will an elite do it. The third cannon in this part is the most likely one for an elite to jump in. It took me about half an hour to get from here to the end of the level. Yeah, it took me a... This, this take took me one or two shots, but the first time through this, it took me a while. But that's it for this part.